The main focus of this tutorial is to show how to use uh, the if statement in just a basic type of formula. And two additional things that are going to be shown here is how to insert symbols like this check mark and this X, and then how to use conditional formatting to change the colors automatically depending on what the formula result is. So the first thing that we want to do is just an overview. This is a quarterly performance summary for each quarter, one, two, three, four, and total. And it just shows the profit for each quarter and then the percentage change from one quarter to another. The first quarter is NA because there's nothing to compare it to. And so when we create an if statement, we're basically going to say if the second quarter values have increased, the profit has increased in the second quarter over what is in the first quarter, then we're going to put a check mark. And so you can see that's happening here. The second quarter is lower than the third quarter and we get a check mark. So let's go ahead and activate our cell and we'll click on the function button and just pull up the if function. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is a logical test. And so what we're going to compare is, is the first quarter greater than the second quarter. If that's true, then that's not a good result. And for a placeholder, we're just going to type bad. And if that's false, that then that means that the second quarter has improved over the first quarter and it's a good result so we'll just type in good as a placeholder and we're gonna go ahead and hit OK so you can see we have a good result in the second quarter because the profit has increased slightly over the first quarter now the second part of this is to get the check marks in there which are simply symbols what you're gonna need to do is click in a blank cell to insert the symbols because you cannot insert symbols into a formula directly and you want to go to the insert tab and all the way to the right symbols and you're going to get the symbols menu and just you can choose any symbol you like I have some recently used symbols here so I'm going to insert, click on the check mark and click insert and you can see it inserting here and then I'm going to click on the X and hit insert go ahead and close that out alright so what you want to do now that you have your symbols here on row 10 Go ahead and take the check mark, copy that, and click into the if statement. And the check mark is going to replace the good, highlight and paste it in there. Okay. And then grab the X, copy that, and paste it over bad. I'm going to go ahead and delete these symbols because we don't need them anymore. And the final thing is just the conditional formatting. How does it know if it's good or bad to change this? And just an example, if this was 800, then the result would be bad, and we would get an X because of the if statement, and also the X would be colored red. So I'm just going to undo that. What you want to do to do the conditional formatting is just highlight the cells that you want to format, and on the Home tab, click on Conditional Formatting, go all the way down to New, to add a new rule. okay. And the rule that we want to use is format only cells that contain. So format cells that contain and we're going to say if the cell value is equal to and just go ahead and paste it in X then we obviously want it to be red. So I'm going to click on format and change the font color to red and hit OK. And once you hit OK that'll add that rule alright now we have to do the formatting if it's not an X so we'll go conditional formatting new rule same thing with the format only cells that contain and this time we're going to select not equal to so if it's not an X then the result of the formula would obviously be a positive result and we're going to do the formatting here and just to show that you can choose any color you like I'm just going to pick a dark orange hit OK and so now you can see that if we have a positive result we get a dark or we get a dark orange check mark and a negative result would be an X and all the formulas work the same way